Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat on Michigan Business Network. Jeff Mosier sitting in for Chris Holman on the road at the airport, Capital Region International Airport, and we're on hand for the inaugural flight heading from Lansing to Orlando for Avello Airlines. And uh, what well, we have... Tim Damon with the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce and also the Mid Michigan Travel Coalition. Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, Tim. Yeah, Jeff, thanks for having me. Uh, well, let's start out from the Chamber's perspective. What does this flight happening on a twice a week basis uh, mean for Lansing? Well, you know, anytime you're bringing a new air service into a community, it's something to, to really celebrate, right? And so I think that that is uh, first and foremost right now is the fact that we're seeing additional direct flights, and that's the one thing we hear continuously. Whether it's business travel or leisure travel, I think folks want to get from destination A to destination B, and being able to offer that direct nonstop service from Lansing to Orlando is one big step at that with the Velo. And for the Mid-Michigan Travel Coalition, speak to what that means for them. Well, you know what, our primary objective there is to support the airport and support Nicole and her team in, uh, in air service development. And so, um, again, working closely with her on this. And I think once you do this, I think the opportunities with the existing airlines that are here, you just grab attention. I think when you start bringing in new air, uh, new air service, and so we're certainly hoping that this is something that we can kind of build a little bit of a foundation on and, uh, and grow it from there. Business travel, leisure travel, uh, lots of great opportunities for mid-Michigan. Without question. You know what, again, I think you look at the, the direct services here now with what we kind of call those legacy carriers and getting to Detroit with Delta, and we say at that point in time you can get anywhere in the world from Lansing. you still got the direct service with American to uh, to Washington, D.C., which is still one of our top business destinations. And so, uh, so it's exciting times right now, and again, I think there are opportunities when you bring in a new airline like this. It, it creates a lot of excitement and energy around the airport a lot of attention out here and getting other airlines to start thinking about how they bring back additional service and how they look at expanding service. Speaking of celebrations, can you preview a little bit of uh, what will be going on next Tuesday out at the Kellogg Center? Oh, you know what? Absolutely. We'll host our 17th annual Celebration of Regional Growth Awards next week, and we'll be recognizing five businesses for their investment uh, here in our region. You know, what we look at over the last 16 years, we've had 85 businesses we've recognized and more than $4 billion in investment this year. It's, uh, it's McKesson for Pharmaceutical District. Distribution Center, Farm Bureau for corporate headquarter uh, renovations and expansion, TechSmith for their new headquarters, um, Moneyball Sportswear, kind of a small business celebrating their 20th anniversary and just announced as well a new headquarter that they're going to build in uh, on the outskirts of downtown Lansing there in the West Saginaw Corridor. So it's exciting uh, opportunities in the Red Cedar development with Ferguson, uh, Ferguson development as well in that mixed use development, about a $280 million investment we're making there on Michigan Avenue. So a lot of diverse uh, opportunities there, big business down to small business and it's always one of the best events we do every year. Tim, thank you so much for spending some time with the Michigan Business Beat today. Yeah, you're welcome, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thank you. Once again, uh, Tim Damon, he is with the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce. He's their uh, head. Also, he uh, serves with the Mid Michigan Travel Coalition. We'll be back with more on the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network.